from string theory, one of the resolutions is called fuzzballs. I love physicists so much. <laughs> Originating from string the theory, this proposal suggests that black holes aren't singularities surrounded by empty space and an event horizon. Instead, they are horizonless, complex, tangled objects, aka fuzzballs, made of strings and brains roughly the size of the would-be event horizon. Yeah. There's no single point of infinite density and no yeah. true horizon to cross. In some sense, it says there's no interior to the black hole, nothing of a cross. So I gave you this very nice story that there's no drama. Sometimes that's how it's described at the event horizon, and you fall through and there's nothing there. This other idea says, well, hold on a second. If it's really strings, as I get close to this magnifying quality and the slowing time down near the event horizon, it is as though I put a magnifying glass on things, and now the strings aren't so microscopic. They kind of schmear around, mm -hmm. and then they get caught like a tangle mm -hmm. around the event horizon, and they just actually never fall through. Um, I don't think that either, but it was interesting. Yeah. So it's just adding a very large number of extra complex... Degrees of freedom. Yeah. There are no teeny tiny marbles to fall through. But it's similar to what we already have with quantum mechanics. It's just giving a, but a it, deeper, more But it's really saying the interior's just not there ever. Nothing falls in. So the information gets out because it never went in in the first place. Oh, interesting. So there is a strong statement there. There's okay. a strong statement there, yeah. Okay, so soft hair challenges the classical no hair theorem by suggesting mm -hmm. that black holes do possess subtle quantum, quote, hair. This isn't classical hair-like charge, but very low energy quantum excitations, soft gravitons or photons at the event horizon that can store information about what fell in. Worth trying, but I also don't think that that's the case. So the no hair theorems are um, formal proofs that the black hole is this featureless, perfect fundamental particle that we talked about, that all you can ever tell about the black hole is its electrical charge, its mass, and its spin, and that it cannot possess other features. Uh, it has no hair is one way of describing it. And that those are proven mathematical proofs in the context of general relativity. So the idea is, well, therefore I can know nothing about what goes into the black hole, so the information is lost. But if they could have hair, I could say that's my black hole because it have features that I could distinguish and it could encode the information that went in in this way. And, and the event horizon isn't so serious. is isn't such a stark demarcation between events inside and outside and where I can't know what happened inside or outside. And um, I don't think that's the resolution either, but it was worth a try. <laughs> okay, the pros and cons of that one. The pros, it works within the framework of quantum field theory and curved space-time, potentially requiring less radical modifications than fuzzballs or information loss. Recent work by Hawking, Perry, Strominger, revitalize this idea. The cons is that the precise mechanism by which information is encoded and transferred to the radiation is still debated and technically challenging to work out fully and indeed it needs to store a vast amount of information. 